Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 195 in the series of basic math. Today we will have our last lesson in the series of 15 on the topic of probability. The problem for today, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. It says that in a college, in a college there are 700 juniors and 900 seniors. We have 700 juniors, 900 seniors. They go on to tell us that among these 1600 students that we see here, 700 plus 900, among these 1600 students there are 45 pairs of siblings. 45 pairs of siblings. Either a brother and sister or two sisters or two brothers, whatever it is, pair of siblings each consisting of one junior and one senior. In other words, we are, not, we don't, we are ruling out a situations where the sibling happens to be both juniors or seniors. This, this pair of siblings are such that one is junior, one is senior. Do you understand? Question is, if one student is to be selected, if you have to select one student at random from each of these two groups, what are the odds that we'll end up selecting a pair of siblings? I'll give you now five seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Pause the video, do it yourself, and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time. Okay, I'll get out of your way. All right, what can we do here? Well, it's very straightforward. Let's, let's pick the first person. We have to pick a pair. Let's pick the first person. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether you st where you start out with, whether you start out with juniors or seniors, it makes no difference. Let's pick a junior. What are the odds that the junior that we end up picking, what are the odds that the junior that we end up picking among the 700 people that we have there is the one who has a sibling in the senior group? Well, there are 45 such possibilities. There are 45 such peoples. There are 45 such peoples who have siblings in the senior class. Out of total of how many? Out of total of 700. So that part is done. Now let's pick a senior. Let's pick a senior. Once, once we have picked, once we have picked one of those people who happens to have a sibling in the other class, what are the odds that we end up picking exactly that one person? There we go. We just said it. Exactly that one person. There is only one person there. There is only one person out of this group who will qualify as this person's sibling. And how many are seniors? Seniors are 900. There you go. That's, that's it. We're done. You can look at it that way, or, or we could have started our story, or we could have started out our story the other way. It wouldn't have made any difference. We could have started out our story the other way. It would, it would have not, not made any difference at all. We could have we could have begun we could have begun with seniors, and it would just be the same. 45 will end up here. That's what it is. There are 45 there are 45 seniors out of 900 who happen to have a sibling in the junior class. Once we have picked that one person from the senior class, once we have chosen that one person from senior class, how many people are there here in the junior class who will qualify as a sibling of that one person? Well, there is just one person. There is only one person who is a sibling of that person that we have chosen. And therefore it is one out of 700. And of course you will see, we get the same answer. We get the same answer. It's very straightforward, very simple. Now we simply have to do the math. We see 45 on the top, we see 900 on the top. 900 on the bottom, 45 goes away, 90 becomes 2, 90 becomes 2, and this 2, 0 comes down. So it's basically 20 times 700. The answer is 20, 1 out of 20 times 700. 1, 1 out of 20 times 700. This 20 right you see this right there. 20 times 700. That's all. 7 times 2 is 14. It is 1 out of 14, and then we'll have 3 zeros. 1, 2, and 3. The odds are 1 out of 14,000, odds are 1 out of 14,000 that if you were to pick a pair of students, one from the junior class and one from the senior class, in this scenario where we happen to have 45 pairs of siblings, one junior and one senior, the odds are only 1 out of 14,000 that the pair that you end up picking happens to be a sibling. Not very likely. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Let's do one more.
The next problem that we're going to do is going to be very similar, very similar to what we just did here. We have a box, a box of 10 parts, a box containing 10 parts, 10 identical parts. I should say 10 identical parts, but I'm too lazy. You understand? These are all 10 identical parts. And we are told that out of, out of these 10, two are two are defective. We know that for a fact that we have a box of 10, 10 parts. In this box I have 10 parts, but I know that two of them are defective. Two of them are defective. I know that for a fact. Question is, if one part is to be chosen at random, if we were to choose one part at random, what are the odds? What are the odds? That the part that is chosen, that the part that is chosen is not defective. This is too silly. It's a very silly question. Very, very straightforward question. What are the odds that the part that we choose is not defective? Well, we are told. We are told that there are two defectives, therefore the odds of choosing something that is not defective. There are two that are defective out of ten, that means there are eight that are not defective out of ten. Eighty percent chance. Very simple, very straightforward. Now instead of, instead of picking one part, let's pick two parts. We are going to pick two parts now. Two parts are chosen. Two parts are chosen, and the next next part is the most important part. Without replacement. Without. Without replacement. Not with replacement. Without replacement. Two parts are chosen without the replacement. Without replacement. What are the odds? What are the odds that? They are both defective. What are the odds that they are both defective? This question, as you will see in a few seconds, is very similar to the one that one that we just finished. I'm going to get out of here again one more time. Do it yourself first. So what have, what is happening is that we're going to pick two parts. We're going to pick first part, and once we have picked, once we have picked that part, we don't put it back in the box. We leave it out without replacement, and then we put a second one. Okay. Let's get going. So, the odds of choosing a defective parts in the first first try and the defective parts in the second try is simply going to be is simply going to be the product of the probability of the two events. The odds of choosing a defective parts in the first event times the odds of choosing the defective parts in the second event. Why? Because these two events are independent. These are independent events. These are independent events. The odds of choose if the, whether or not you pick the defective parts in the first try has absolutely no influence whatsoever on the odds that you will pick a defective part in the second try. Given the fact that we are done without replacement, do you understand? It doesn't. It doesn't impact this thing. These are independent independent events. Therefore, the odds of these two choosing a defective part in the first try and a defective part in the second try is simply the odds of picking a defective part in the first try times the odds of choosing a defective part in the second try. The only thing where they influence each other, the only, uh, only way you can argue that these two events influence each other is that, yes, you do have to make a point that we are doing it without replacement. Because if you do with replacement, of course, it will be a different scenario. But once it's specified whether it's independent or uh, once it's specified whether it's with replacement or without replacement, then at that point, the events do not have memories. They do not influence each other. You're not going to say that uh, just because I picked defective part last time, I'm less likely or more likely to pick defective parts the next time. The how likely you are of picking a defective part in the second try has to do with purely with the how many defective parts are left in the bags and how many total parts are there in the bag. That's what it is. So how many, in the first try, in the first try, how many defective parts do we have? Well, right here, we have two defective parts, 
out of 10. Once we have chosen a defective parts, once we have chosen a defective parts in the first try, what are the odds that we're going to pick a defective parts in the second try? Well, once you have chosen one defective part, since we only had two, once you have chosen one defective part, there is only one left. There is only one left. So this scenario, as I said, is very similar to what we just did earlier, where once you have chosen one out of those 45 people who happen to have a sibling in the other class, once you happen to have chosen that one particular person, then there was only one person in the second group that qualified as a sibling of the person that you have just chosen. The same thing is going on here. Once you have chosen one of the defective parts, now there is only one left because we have two to start out with. There is only one defective part and how many total parts do we have now? Well, we only have nine because we are doing without replacement. We, not, we did not put this part back in the back. We did not put it back in the box. So there are nine left. And that's all. We are done. We are making too much fuss about nothing at all. That's all. Two cancels out with ten is equal to five. And it's five times nine. The answer is the odds of the odds of one out of one out of 45. There's a 1 out of 45 chance that the two parts that you pick at random from the box without replacement, given the fact that there were two defective in the, in the box containing 10, the odds are 1 out of 45 that both of the parts that you end up picking will be defective. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.